I want to thank you all for stopping by. We're outside today. We're enjoying the nice weather, the nice Midwestern uh, spring. <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you for stopping by for uh, this maximum popularity run through my GM. Without further ado, let's get into the second half. All right, and we're back. Week 26, Billy K. Her contract is up. Absolutely. Triple H, uh, somebody's got hurt. Don't know who. Red Monsoon wants to be on the pay-per-view. Oh, he's happy. That's good. My truth is happy for his title rematch. Love to see it. Who got hurt? Jimmy Uso, that makes sense. That's cool. We have an injury rehab. Hit Jimmy Uso. He'll be back in a week or so. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Okay, so this is the card for week 26. It's a little hit or miss, but we got a four-star uh, rivalry for finishing off. We got a tag team women's tag team champions match. Should be good to go. First off, four-star. We love to see it. Oh, our charity didn't book. Oh, no. We're going to have Thatcher um, challenge our truth for the title. We're going to keep MVP and McDougal's as well as Macho Man and Red Monsoon, beefing. Of course, everybody loves R-Truth. If you don't love R-Truth, you're a liar. All right. That should be a big match. Yep. So that's literally strictly for the pay-per-view at this point. But we're still doing great. Still up 12,000. We're almost to 3 million already. Um, we're going to renew Macho Man for 191000 Macho Man's worth it. McDougal wants to fight MVP. Sounds good. Keith Lee wants to fight. Sounds good. We don't have any good cards, though, but we need to schedule a run-in to get special promo. So we'll see what we can do. All right, week 27. This is our card. We're good to go. I think this is another good card. We're going to increase the R-Truth Clint McDougal. Um, or Timothy Thatcher, I should say. We're going to get Jimmy Uso some play. Hopefully we can get the Usos back in motion uh, with a little bit of time now that they're healed up. Another three and a half star. Becky Lynch, of course. Always good for charity. Nia Jax versus Charlotte Flair. Three stars. We love to see it. Morrison versus Big E. MVP versus Macho Man. That's another one. I'd love to just hear them talk at each other. All right. So we had a better overall card, but we did miss a, miss a slot, but that's okay. Plus another 14,000. We're almost at 3 million. So close. All right, Thatcher wants to make an appearance. We're going to let Peyton Royce go to the Hell Spa. Oh, the Iconics uh, actually decided they are no longer uh, doing wrestling. So good for them. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully everything works out. Always enjoyed them or inspiration or whatever they're going by now. Um, might want to get Bailey. I love Bailey. Bailey is one of my favorites, but uh, we'll see. All right, so here's our card. We didn't wind up picking up Bailey. Uh, we're going to go ahead and restart the Becky Lynch Charlotte Flair. Because I just love that rivalry. I just love having them together. I mean, I like it in real life. Only gets me a good, though. Disappointing. And it doesn't restart a rivalry. Also disappointing. Carmella. Versus Ignition with a run-in from ba um, Billy K. Going to try to... The Usos will hold on to that title forever. MVP is getting some hype. And there we go. Morrison versus Big E. Hell in a Cell. We at least get a four-star. I don't care about their card. 
This was an underwhelming week. Underwhelming week for sure. But you see they're losing fans. We're gaining fans. So we're still doing something right. All right. Here we go. One week before the pay-per-view. Let's get into it. Should be easy peasy. We just want to make sure everybody gets out of here with a solid amount of stamina so we can pay off what we need to pay off. McDougal still keeps coming through with all the interference. Yep, that's fine. With any luck, Billy Kay is going to appear at the pay-per-view. Hopefully we don't get blocked again. Macho Man continues winning. And we get that rivalry going. Keith Lee requested to fight Jimmy Uso. An amazing match. It doesn't increase the, the tag team rivalry still. But we will live with it. And we're just going to keep on 10000 apiece. But if we can get a good pay-per-view here, I think we're going to use our special promotion. Depending on Hell in a Cell, special matches cost double. We can live with that. Charlotte Flair can't take part. We can live with that. McDougal's mad. Our truth wants to appear. This should be a magnificent pay-per-view for Hell in a Cell. Okay, so this is our card. These are the power cards we're using. You see they already vetoed our stuff, but we got Get the Tables, Two Extreme, and Special Promotion. But the tables in the Extreme Rules match are in the middle, and we have two Hell in the Cells to bracket it with our four, our level four. Uh, uh, this one's probably going to pop off, though. All right, well, we're going to go either way, and we're going to see how we do. A classic, we love it. Amazing, we love it. Our rivalries are going up as well. This is probably going to be legendary. And it's going to fuck our shit up. Yeah. Didn't play that well, like, now that I think about it. But that's fine. We're going to wind up with, like, a bunch of really good matches nonetheless. Also legendary. And legendary. So we finish it out with three legendary matches in a row. Honestly, that's probably the best pay-per-view uh, WWE's put on in forever. <laughs> like, if this happened in real life, everybody would be talking about WWE's back. But we get plus 240. We are over 3 million fans. 3,100,000. Let's go. Yeah, we rolling. We can maybe get to 3-5. Charlotte Flair's match. She was vetoed, or she would have had a match with Becky Lynch. Uh, Red Monsoon wants to not fight Macho Man. I got you. Okay, so we wound up picking up The Miz and Bret Hart, uh, mainly because I picked up Bret Hart because we were running out of faces honestly and we probably should turn somebody but we picked up the Miz because the Miz can always talk the Miz is a five-star talker um and I think he was permanent or maybe 10 weeks I don't know but basically it'll allow us more ability to make all of these matches where everybody can be um seen and increase their popularity which will increase our ability to get people so that's what we're gonna do we got a nice three and a half star match there uh Getting a three-star match out of this rivalry. Nice. Macho Man also doing the charity thing. Uso versus Keith Lee. Ooh, I would like better from that. Big E's promo also doesn't go over well. Interesting. But the Miz versus Bret Hart, that should be a three and a half star. Yep. Does not start a rivalry, though. What? That's so weird. So we lost 36,000. 36,000. Yeah, this is where it gets really hard. Like, you need people who can talk. Yeah, he wants to team up with Randy Savage. Absolutely. Carmella wants a main event match. Okay, we can do that too. All right, so Hitman wants to work with Randy Savage. And Carmella wants a... 
Main event match. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, week 32, this is going to be our card. I think it's going to be a pretty good one. We're going to hopefully start a rivalry between MVP and Hitman. Or not. We're going to increase this rivalry, I hope. There we go. Thank you. Start a new one there. Increase Bianca Belair versus uh, Peyton Royce. Try and keep getting Timothy Thatcher hype. And just generally be happy with the matches that we are getting to go over. We're still getting some good results, but we're gonna we're at the part now where we start losing, uh, losing fans. So we have to we have to keep doing charity. Carmella wants a title shot, girl. Please. We're going to schedule them in a tables match, but we really want to try and, so both of them are high, are high stamina right now. We want to try and get some stuff going. Doesn't want me to put Timothy Thatcher in a match, but I don't really care. All right. All right. So here's what we're going with. We bought another uh, health spa. We're probably going to end up using it on uh, the Uso that's beefing with Keith Lee. But we got three belts on the line tonight. That's good enough. We got a new rivalry. They're going, everything's going okay. Everything's going okay. Nothing's great, but it's okay. This should be a great match, though. This is a four-star on a TLC legendary. We love to see it. But, yeah, we're losing people every week, so we got to figure out uh, how to get more. And I think it's uh, special matches mostly, but... We really need to heal up our peoples. Like, everybody's tired. So we're going to do our truth here. And Jimmy Uso there. Which sucks, because we can't do the Jimmy Uso four-star match. Probably need one for Peyton Royce, too. That super sucks. Like, everybody's just really tired. And Carmella wants a title shot. That's definitely a mid-card match. No. The run-in from Ignition. I'm going to wind up signing more people just to just to go ahead and uh, have some healthy bodies. Okay, so we did have to pick up some new talent. Uh, after much deliberation, we decided to go ahead and grab Ric Flair. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a program started with him and the Macho Man. And we picked up Rhea Ripley uh, just for some fresh bodies. All right, let's go. That one should be good. We'll take great. That's probably mid. But Carmella's now the champ. Wow. 
And more importantly, there was an ignition run in, but it didn't increase their rivalry. Also disappointing. But that's probably a great match. Yeah. Still doesn't start a rivalry, though. Our rivalries are kind of hurting right now. And they're making a play. They're finally getting their stuff off. All right, so we're still at 3,100,000 going in to Survivor Series. Bianca Belair can't take part. Carmella's happy. Keith Lee wants to be on the pay-per-view. That is definitely something I was already planning on, buddy. So, cool. Appreciate it. Schedule a run-in on my most popular. I don't know that that's happening. What is he offering a special effects show? We're not doing that. Okay, here we go. Survivor Series. Let's pop it off. We can see. So we have used our tables. Um, we are using our tables card and our and our Hell in the Cell card. So those should be legendary on the four stars. And then we got some random matches in there and some call outs. So we should be good. I'm hoping. This should be a great card. Should be, you know, plus 180, plus 190. Legendary, let's go. Does not start a rivalry. I hate it. Amazing, let's go. Does start a rivalry. We love it. Amazing, we love it. That was supposed to be for the Women's Championship, but I forgot to put it in there like that. But we get a classic anyway. Okay. This should be legendary with Timothy Thatcher becoming our new champion. Look at that card. That card's amazing. 162? We only got 162. That's so hurtful. All right. We just got to keep grinding them out. Hopefully get some good stuff. Billy K. Yeah, we'll keep you around. Keith Lee's happy. MVP wants back in. We got you, the boss. All right. Have at least one TLC match. We still are just not getting uh, any more special promotions, which means we have to have, like, incredible cards. Like, incredible, incredible cards. 